Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is, uh, morning is Entrepreneurial Research and Developmental Systems, Inc. And of course, we have with us to talk about Entrepreneurial Research and Developmental Systems, Inc., uh, Ms. Janice Davis, who is the founder, the uh, president, as well as the CEO of uh, this organization. And the topic that we would like to uh, talk about today is nonprofits, the uh, stimulus fund acquisition, and uh, general survival during this uh, economic downturn. And of course, Ms. Davis, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning. Thank you very much. And I think, Ms. Davis, we've uh, sort of outlined uh, the uh, topic today. And in a real sense, we outlined the show, dealing with the uh, items that uh, we believe that are very, very important. And some of the things that uh, we believe that uh, you can deal with in terms of enlightening our audience about some of the uh, problems that we face now. But before we get into that, Ms. Davis, let's see if you can give our audience uh, a, a general overview of your background, uh, your education, and some of the things that were important in a real sense in leading you to establish an organization dealing with entrepreneurship and uh, talking about survival during these economic downturns. Talk about that from that perspective. Well, I grew up in Nashville, attended public school systems, attended TSU, and during my tenure at TSU, Dr. Harrison Wilson invited me to join the Cooperative Education Program, which sent me to Washington. I worked under Leonard Spearman, who's over all the scholarships in the whole country. I worked with him, and then when I got ready to leave, they called me back after graduation to work in the Department of Commerce mm -hmm. under Maurice Stans, who was in the middle of the Watergate mm -hmm. okay. debacle. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> and the first office I actually had was Jed Stewart Magruder's office. Mm -hmm. And I worked there. I worked in Omby when it first started under John Jenkins. Mm -hmm. Then I got recommended by... Um, Fulton and Howard Baker to go to the Justice Good. Department. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of experience there working with a $500 million budget that I had to present to the U.S. Congressional Subcommittees mm -hmm. under uh, Yvonne Breathwaite Burke. Mm -hmm. And then I continued to work with them through the years. I ended up with Marion Barry's administration as mm -hmm. assistant to the treasurer, mm -hmm. then at NBC Washington, mm -hmm. director of financial controls, then National Public Radio as budget and grants administrator. And that's where I ended up dealing with the grants. Mm -hmm. And I start, they sent me to George Washington University. I did work there. And that's when I said, my God, there's so much money here. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever would believe mm -hmm. me. So that's how I got to where I am now had a lot of twists and turns then once I got in that I went out on my own for a couple of years I worked also mm -hmm. with the Clinton Gore campaign mm -hmm. and from there the transition team and then we went to the White House and they put me in student correspondence and they asked me what I wanted to do I said I wanted to work with grants so they put me as a reviewer mm -hmm. on the grant committees for these big grants and each one has the same anatomy, whether it's a B-52 bomber mm -hmm. or it's a, a little grant for somebody in mm -hmm. Tupelo, Mississippi. Yeah, okay. So once I realized that, I said, my goodness, all you have to do is learn how to do the forms and you can get all kind of money. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's when I started working. I had started out as Jay Davis Associate, then International Strategies. I did a stint with the Caribbean Basin Initiatives. Mm -hmm. So I did the corporate nonprofit and not-for-profit mm -hmm. sectors so I got clear training in everything mm -hmm. unfortunately some of my audiences weren't sophisticated so I was giving out all this bleeding heart information mm -hmm. and not getting paid mm -hmm. which is what mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. do anymore <laughs> mm -hmm. but I got to the opportunity of being able to do the work show them what to do get them certified mm -hmm. And they have all kind of boxes full of dreams. I said, no, mm -hmm. get certified, get your 501, get registered with the government, mm -hmm. do all of those things, mm -hmm. and then you can go out there and start seeking mm -hmm. those kinds of funds mm -hmm. and resources. So, so in a real sense, <laughs> uh, Ms. Davis, you bring to us uh, just a wealth of information dealing with what we consider to be very, very important. As a matter of fact, uh, some of the things that we've talked about on this show earlier, and that is grants and the ability mm -hmm. to be able to get our money in a real sense, right. uh, money that we've in a real sense overlooked. 
And so uh, during this uh, second segment, as we come to the uh, end of this first segment, mm -hmm. we want you to go into uh, how, you know, how these grants are, uh, are achieved and how they are given out and some of the things mm -hmm. that might be what we might consider an insider's view in reference right. to this. Because I think what you've demonstrated now is that uh, you've really got the information and all you have to do is to have uh, good listeners because yes. all they have to do is follow <laughs> instructions That's and key. enter real estate. You know, I've heard people say that on a number of occasions oh, that yeah. it's very, very easy to get the money if you know how to go about getting it. And you are promising us that you're going to tell us over oh, this yes. next segment how to get the money. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. We're talking to Mr.